Imagine you have been investing for years into something that is very, very speculative. And hey, it started going up and up and up and up. You became a believer going from just tens of people to hundreds to thousands to ten thousands to millions of people believing in this. And that is exactly what happened with cryptocurrency. But then where can you store it safely? A lot of people went with platforms that were offering high interest rates. I am uh, no exception to this, by the way. I took plenty of L's on this crypto journey, and that is why only a small fraction of my investment portfolio goes toward cryptocurrency. I still think it's a great idea, not financial advice. Um, but what happens if the platform that offers this 8 to 10% uh, yield on your money guaranteed – um, suddenly is uh, we, we find out it's ran by scammers and they planted a back door into every account and can drain your cryptocurrency if you happen to log on to the site. That is exactly what happened uh, with FTX, the crypto investing platform. Let's break it down. Step one, Sam Bankman-Fried creates FTX along with uh, Alameda, and uh, they're sending money to one each other, all this sort of thing. They also gain trust from the crypto community by hosting Twitter spaces, offering like um, amazing tools that will be um, used in the future. For example, tokenizations of stocks, so you don't have to wait to trade your stocks. Sometimes platforms delay how long it takes for you to get your money, and the future of NFTs will bridge that uh, time and make it slower and slower and slower. So of course, there is still so much to look forward from crypto. And we saw Sam Bankman freed as this crypto hero. When Voyager went under, he offered his own money to buy it out and support all the customers. Now we are finding out that FTX was a sham. It was a uh, shout out to sham. Wow. But along with Celsius, along with Voyager, now we have FTX going under. Sam Bankman-Fried has fled the country. His net worth dropped from $15 billion all the way down to $1 billion. Boo-hoo, right? Um, he is a criminal. Uh, this is the biggest scam in the investing world since Bernie Madoff, and none of us saw it coming. And I'm not going to act like I saw it coming, right? I have videos where I was excited that Sam Bankman fried was preaching for a world that is inclusive of cryptocurrency, right? I take my L. I take my losses. And this is why I am very careful when I invest in cryptocurrency and where I store it. Um, at the end of the day, I like using Coinbase's wallet. It's not connected to Coinbase. Uh, as far as my knowledge goes, do your own research. And I can take it offline if I like to into a cold storage and I'm waiting till I hit a certain amount of cryptocurrency in that wallet to do so. Now, when it comes to platforms, approximately every $500 of USD value, I transfer it out. So once I have $500 in Ethereum on Robinhood, I transfer it out. By the way, if you are using Robinhood for your cryptocurrency, don't forget, it must be inside of their app for at least five days before you can take it out. So this helps uh, avoid any bank run situations, but I don't think five days will buy them much time if anything uh, goes south. And it might, because we know Sam Bankman Freed bought about 8% of Robinhood. So he is a huge owner of the Robinhood app. Uh, this is very unsettling, very scary. Um, but at the end of the day, I do believe if we keep investing in cryptocurrency, and I'm going to be doing that, um, we are getting great deals right now. The prices have crashed so much. People are going to fear crypto for years, for years. They said Voyager was a black swan event, right? Happens once in a decade. They said Celsius is a black swan event once in a decade. They said FTX, black swan event once in a decade. It's 2022. And I feel like we just went through decades of negativity in a single year. We are finally seeing stocks and crypto uncorrelate from one another. Stocks have been surging while crypto mm, kind of trying to recover, but ultimately down bad. 
I am going to keep averaging in. Like I stated, uh, I just want everyone here to know that I am not pulling my money out of cryptocurrency and I will continue buying stably, uh, surely, and uh, probably for a very long time. And if I'm wrong, I'm okay with that because 92% of my investing money is going towards index funds and classic dividend uh, cash flowing companies that have been around for decades. I can take this risk. So analyze for yourselves. Is this risk worth it for you and your families? If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and hopefully you'll want to keep up with my journey to a work optional life by 2030. Will I make it or uh, will Sam Bankman free take all my money?